With this greeting, Pope Francis embraced all persecuted Christians in the Middle East. During the meeting with Christian bishops organized by the Focolare movement, the Metropolitan of the Syriac it's Orthodox Church of Antioch made a special request to the Pope. That for the release of our kidnapped brother bishops. I appealed to him to uh, intervene and then His Holiness came to me and uh, held my hand and told me that uh, I am deeply united with you and I pray for these two bishops and I will do my level best uh, for their release and for the uh, suffering people in the Middle East. So that was something very profound and uh, in his, that came out of his heart. He asked that the Pope could intercede during his visit to Turkey for the two Orthodox bishops kidnapped in Syria 18 months ago. Mar Gregorios Johanna Ibrahim, a Syrian Orthodox, and Bulos Al Yazigi, who is Greek Orthodox. Unfortunately, we don't know anything about where they are. They were um, uh, kidnapped from the Turkish border in Syria. But unfortunately, uh, this bishop, one of these bishops, especially Bishop Gregorios, was very much uh, active in the ecumenical movement and the social activities. The Syriac Orthodox Church is a first-hand witness to the suffering of Christians in the Middle East. Metropolitan Theophilos asked that Western countries mobilize to help refugees. He also strongly denounced those who assist the Islamic State. The ISIS, it is not a uh, sudden uh, uh, event. Its, a prepar its preparations had been done long back, and I don't want to name the people who are uh, engaged in that, but it, they are backed by many uh, people uh, around there. So it's our task, all kind of fundamentalism and uh, this kind of extremism that should be avoided, and even not only for the Christians, even for the Muslims, it's a threat. The solution, he said, while not violent, should allow for Christians and Muslims to live together in peace in the Middle East, as they have done for centuries.